Scream Queens have been around since the dawn of cinema in one form or another, and although they've gone by many different names over the years, whether it be Damsels in Distress, Scream Queens, or the more recent Final Girl, the concept has remained the same. Put a pretty girl in danger that the audience can identify with to make the monster slash killer scarier. Over the last 100 years, the roles have changed significantly for these leading ladies. A role that used to consist of a helpless beauty waiting for the hero to come save the day has transitioned into the beauty herself playing both the victim and the hero. So what exactly is a Scream Queen? The most basic definition is an actress who has become associated with horror films either through an appearance in a notable entry in the genre or recurring roles in the genre. So grab some popcorn and your favorite beverage as we delve into the top 15 Scream Queens of the 2000s. Number 15, Naomi Watts. Horror doesn't usually come to mind for someone who's been nominated for two Oscars, but when Naomi starred opposite King Kong in her role as Anne Darrow, and with the success of The Ring in 2002, it's hard not to put her on the list for this decade. She also starred in the cult classic Funny Games with Tim Roth in 2007. Number 14, Shawnee Smith. Saw may very well be the most popular horror franchise of this decade, and Shawnee Smith starred in four of the six that were released during this 10 year period. She also snagged a leading role in The Grudge 3 and played in the TV miniseries 30 Days of Night, Dust to Dust. <laughs> Shawnee Smith has become a familiar face in the horror franchise and we hope to see plenty more of her in the future. Number 13, Rose McGowan. Rose was only in two horror movies this decade, which were both released together as the Grindhouse double feature. But she was so amazing in Planet Terror, she definitely deserves a spot on this list. She played the role of Cherry, who is a victim turned lethal badass when she gets an assault rifle for a leg. And let me tell you, it doesn't get much more fun than this. I especially love her character arc in this scene. Damn it! Number 12, Sydney, I mean, Nev Campbell. So Scream 3 is the only Scream to release during this decade. And let's be honest, it's the worst one. But that can't preclude a spot on this list for the iconic 90s Scream Queen, Nev Campbell. She's the Scream Queen of my generation. Scream was still a relevant force in horror during this decade, and although she entered the millennium as a seasoned veteran, it's plain to see she still got it. Number 11. Sarah Michelle Geller. Another relic from the 90s, SMG found more horror fame this decade with her Japanese remake, The Grudge. She would also make an appearance in The Grudge 2, as well as a couple of lower budget movies, The Return and Possession, neither of which I've seen. But let's not forget her role as Daphne Blake in the Scooby Doo movies. Hey, it's kinda horror for kids, as is her leading role in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. If this was a list for gateway horror, SMG would definitely be queen. Number 10, Shannon Elizabeth. Shannon started her foray into horror with the horror comedy Scary Movie, but then went full into the genre with 13 Ghosts in 2001. She then landed a small role in the Wes Craven werewolf film Cursed. It wasn't a dog, was it? Actually, it was. <laughs> and finally topped it off with her biggest role yet as Angela 
in 2009's Night of the Demons remake. Look at those dance moves. I think Stevie Nicks is gonna sue. Number 9. Serena Vincent Serena starred in Eli Roth's directorial debut, Cabin Fever, and followed that with a string of low-budget horror movies which include Murder Set Pieces, It Waits, Intermedio, and Return to House on Haunted Hill. But most fans will remember her from Cabin Fever. Who could forget this scene? Number 8, Marley Shelton. Marley first gained the attention, or should I say admiration, of horror fans with her role as Kate Davies in the Jamie Blanks slasher film, Valentine. She would then go on to appear in both Grindhouse films, Planet Terror and Death Proof, and even had a role in 2009's The Perfect Getaway, which if you haven't seen, I highly recommend you do. Number 7, Alicia Cuthbert. She fits the Scream Queen criteria to a T with her sexy good looks and girl next door charm. Pun intended. Although she was only in two horror movies, she did a fantastic job and I hope she revisits the genre in the future. <laughs> Number 6, Mary Elizabeth Winstead. The Ring 2, Final Destination 3, Black Christmas, and Death Proof. Mary Elizabeth Winstead is no stranger to the horror genre, and her acting ability goes above and beyond most of the material she is given. She would later go on to star in the prequel to John Carpenter's The Thing, which I thought was excellent. Number 5, Jamie King. So she was only in one horror movie from this decade, but she was so hot damn amazing in it, she deserves a spot on this list. She is the epitome of the girl next door, beautiful yet attainable, sexy but sweet, and cunning as a fox. Jamie Lee couldn't have done a better job herself. Number 4, Diora Baird. She only appeared in two horror movies this decade, unless you count Stan Helsing, but those were more than enough to show off her assets and have us horror fans welcome her with open arms. Texas Chainsaw The Beginning in 2006, and Night of the Demons in 2009. Baby? Baby? Oh, if you're gonna put it in there, you're gonna need to use a little... Yeah, being a demon was absolute hell, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Number three, Katie Cassidy. Katie starred in two theatrical horror films this decade, When a Stranger Calls and Black Christmas, both of which were released in 2006, both of which were remakes. Neither of the films were well liked by critics, but both of them showed us that Katie Cassidy is a fantastic scream queen. She was excellent in Black Christmas, and if you haven't seen that film, or haven't seen it since it first came out, give it another watch. It's really grown on me over the years, and is a much better movie than it gets credit for. Katie also starred in the very fun CBS slasher miniseries, Harper's Island in 2009, and had a recurring role in the TV series, Supernatural. Number 2, Eliza Dushku. Eliza's first horror role came in 2001 with the film Soul Survivors. Not the best first impression, but she quickly redeemed herself with 2003's Wrong Turn. In addition to that, she also had a recurring role on the TV series Buffy the Vampire Slayer from 1998 to 2003. She's great at playing tough, kick-ass characters, which makes her a fantastic final girl for the horror genre. Your eyes say no, no. But my mouth says yes, yes. Number one, Monica Kina. Freddy vs. Jason was the most talked about slasher of this decade, and Monica lit up the screen as the final girl. Literally. She is the only actress to have played the final girl opposite both horror icons on screen, and that is what makes her number one on this list. After Freddy vs. Jason, she went on to do a couple of straight-to-video horrors titled Long Distance and Left in the Darkness, neither of which I have seen. 
Then in 2009, she starred in the criminally underrated Night of the Demons remake, alongside some other ladies that also made this list. Well, that's it for me, guys. Let me know your picks in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. <laughs>